Hi, my name is Mark Christian and I'm your Director of Legislative Affairs. The legislature has been unusually active this year. It's early May and normally at this point they're in the middle of writing the bills, bills that will be enacted at the end of summer. This year, in early May, actually in the past month, they have passed a couple bills that are very important to the architecture profession, to all design professions actually. It all centers around one bill, SB1. You've probably read about this bill in the newspaper, seen it on the news, maybe on Facebook. SB1 is a bill that will increase our gas taxes and increase our vehicle licensing fees to pay for transportation projects. Over the next 10 years is estimated to raise around $54 billion. Now some of this will probably be used to hire architects for transportation stations or what have you, but that is not the bill that will really impact architects the most. Because of SB1's passing, three other things have happened. One is the passage of SB 496, which reforms the duty to defend obligation. It will probably stop all discussion for this year and next year of a sales tax, of extending the sales tax to architectural services. And three, unfortunately, it has stopped our bill, the AIACC sponsored bill, that would protect architects when construction deviates from the approved set of plans on duty to defend. We'll go into this in more detail in future communications, but SB 496, the bill that reforms the duty to defend obligation that architects and engineers and landscape architects, all design professions face, was directly tied to SB 1. The author of SB 496 agreed to vote for SB 1, the gas tax bill, in return for a few things. One, some transportation funding to his district, and two, the enactment of SB 496 that will change the duty to defend obligation. Very, very simply, what SB 496 says is that in no event shall the cost to defend charged to the design professional exceed the design professional's proportionate percentage of fault. This is very, very significant because right now, the duty to defend obligation is unlimited and it is not tied to the design professional's fault. Indeed, an architect, an engineer can be found not at fault but still have to pay defense costs for their clients. SB 496 will put a stop to that. Sales tax on services. The legislature for the past three years has looked at, considered expanding the sales tax to a whole variety of services, including architectural services. With the enactment of SB 1, a major tax increase, it's my opinion that the legislature will not consider any additional tax increases, any significant tax increases, either this year or next year. Sales tax on services can still be an issue that we'll have to deal with, but I believe it will not happen until 2019 at the earliest. And finally, as I mentioned, the AIACC sponsored bill to further protect architects when construction deviates from a, uh, an approved set of plans. The opposition to the SB 496 duty to defend bill was concerned with our bill. When SB 496 was tied to SB 1, they became, shall I say, upset. They didn't like how that happened and they stopped working with us on our bill and said they would just oppose it. After talking with the author of our bill and his staff, we came to the conclusion that we really have no chance to get uh, our deviation bill through this year. So we're holding our deviation bill until next year. Thank you for watching and we'll have more updates for you later this year. Thank you.